yesterday, a guy named Leafy uploaded a new video after how long has it been so far since his last upload like three years yeah he uploaded a new video to to respond to i dubs's video about on pre protecting his girlfriend and this is what leafy thinks for those of you who are unaware of the drama I recently brought upon myself, I'll fill you in. My girlfriend started an OnlyFans account, which is a website where you can upload amateur porn. Anything from double penetration all the way over to lewd cosplay and everything in between. And uh, I think all of it is cool. Yeah, I know. I Dude, you're a fucking cuck. Just call me angel. And that's the whole idea of it. And uh, of course, he had to end right there with, uh, with these few text words saying that YouTube is still shit. Which I kind of disagree that YouTube is still shit. I mean, yes, YouTube made all these ridiculous rules that should not be needed. But not everything about YouTube is shit. I'm talking about the new look of YouTube that has been released in 2017. And while I do hate the while I do hate the new studio beta for what it was when they released the beta over two years ago, I'm just happy that that YouTube is going to fix the completely fix build the entire studio beta, which will which will no longer be studio, which is just called studio now. In the coming weeks, during the uh, coronavirus pandemic, and that's just the thing about YouTube nowadays, and people seem to hate YouTube as well, but the only thing Leafy hates about YouTube is because, well, probably the rules and probably the demonetization part, which YouTube said they were going to fix. But, again, because of the coronavirus pandemic, it's gonna have to take a little bit longer for the YouTube studio to be completed. I know most of you are fans of the old creator studio. You know, the one that has been Built over a decade ago. Yeah, that one. That studio will soon go away in the next coming weeks now. And I think that's what Leafy one was. I think that's also one of the reasons why Leafy wouldn't be coming back to YouTube. It's because YouTube keeps making changes that don't please everyone. While there are some changes that I don't like about YouTube, I learned to for to live and forget. Anyway, though, um, I have uh, some reasons as to why fans wanted Levy to come back, but in my opinion, is he coming back? No. He'll probably not come back every time, maybe once in a while. And uh, he said the same thing as I just explained in an interview with Keemstar. So let's check that out. Uh, 
So um, I was talking to um, Great A Ender A. Uh, he also has gone missing here on YouTube, and a lot of people have asked me to get Great A Under A on Drumler for an interview, and I might. That might be the next thing I do. But I was asking him if he's going to return to YouTube, and he said he will if you do. Thoughts? I mean, I'm not coming back to this website. This website is ass. I'm not saying that ironically or anything like that. This website is a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not like planning on actually coming back. I'm Even like, after this viral back. hit, like the internet is begging for that old school YouTube. <laughs> Genuinely not. Oh. Well, that's uh, that's sad to hear. I mean, I'll do it for fun, but like, I can't do it like on a daily basis, dude. Like, that shit's rough. I was, like, out of ideas for so fucking long, just, like, burning. Well, I mean, obviously, this video that you, you just put out is a masterpiece that you obviously spent weeks and This months. was my last idea I had. <laughs> no this more. Was, like, ten years in the making. I was a little disappointed there wasn't any transitions. No, no transitions. <laughs> um, mainly because of the fact that the, tra uh, the trail version of Sony Vegas only allows you to render, like, 30 seconds. So. <laughs> Like, okay. I feel like people are gonna think that this is like part of the joke. It actually isn't. Uh, I, I don't know. think I ever bought Sony Vegas. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna get sued for that. Fuck. My final question. All right, and this is this is really the most important question. All right. Oh fuck. I gotta put you on the spot here. Did you pay the ten dollars a month? to iDub's girlfriend to see her ludes or nudes or whatever they are. No, oh, fuck that, dude. I can get that shit for free, dude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it here from Leafy. But Leafy, real quick, one more question. If your girlfriend... I'm sorry, I forgot Jesus to ask Chris. this. I had to ask this, all right? Let's say you were put in a similar situation to iDub's and your girlfriend started an OnlyFans and started selling pictures of you know, her body and stuff online. What would you do? What would your reaction be? Well, I think I would just myself in all honesty. <laughs> You've heard it here from Leafy, who is now currently here and might stay here. That's a big might. Drama Alert Nation. Big might. Drama Alert Nation now over Not five... even a might. Fuck this website. Come back! Just come Dude, back! Dude, all the fucking videos. I look at my goddamn, all the videos. I uploaded every single one of them. It's like yellow check mark, copyright claim. I think there's even a copyright claim on the video I made at 30 seconds. Dude, Dude almost, every, no fucking sense. almost every video I upload gets demonetized as well. Dude, a lot of YouTubers in, in 2020 aren't even making YouTube videos for YouTube money. They're making money from selling shirts and all this other stuff. Like, uh, dude, there's so many people that are just selling using... Selling cop <laughs> Selling your girlfriend. Well, Wait, say that again. I don't think the audience heard you. Selling your girlfriend? Yeah, there are some YouTubers that are doing that too. Idea. But but my point is, is that there's a lot of YouTubers now that are using but copyright. Just fo no, never mind. There's a lot of YouTubers that are using copyrighted music. And, you know, they're, they're not making videos for the actual YouTube money. They're making money elsewhere. So, you know, that is a possibility for you. I could definitely see that. So, also, might just like move to a new platform like MySpace or something like that. I, Not I, sure. I think you could be big on MySpace, but uh, we're gonna have to My leave it. T-shirt. We're gonna have to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard it from Mr. Leafy is here. Any final thoughts? Uh, we're all gonna die from the coronavirus. That's facts. See ya. <laughs> Peace. So let's review the YouTubers list. Will Leafy come back to uploading YouTube videos? That might be a possibility for him, but he will not be doing it for money. He will be doing it for fun. Will he eventually stay on YouTube? For a longer period of time? No, not really. Will he make other money alternatives other than YouTube because of the way it, YouTube's been over the last couple of years? 
he probably might switch to other alternatives to make money to to make money other than making YouTube money, which as soon as the new studio beta is completely fixed or completely built, I should say, we might have a possibility on that of no more demonetizations. Which is what I hope for when the coronavirus finally ends. But yeah, other than that, um, I want Levy to know if he's properly watching, of course. Then I want to say welcome back to YouTube. And for those of you who are still begging for him to come back every day, like I said, he probably will not be back on YouTube every day, but he'll come back every once in a while, I suppose. Because the way he made that 30 second video, we'll probably do a lot more of these in the future, but still I don't see him really coming back on YouTube every time, especially every month. So that's a great, great example of, uh, of when Leafy may or may not return to YouTube in general. That being said though, I might end it here. Yeah, I might end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And of course, um, I will make a video about iDubs. Yeah. Now that Leafy Beaks found this iDubs, I might as well make a video about iDubs next. Because, well, there are some things that I do agree with some YouTubers who are right about the fact that iDubs probably has gone a bit too far, but at the same time, I really don't care what he does. At least it is his life, not ours. So yeah.